The U.S. is expected to announce a new military package for Ukraine later today that includes thousands of cluster munitions. The highly controversial bomb causes extensive civilian casualties and is actually banned in 120 countries. According to Human Rights Watch, using the munitions to attack enemy troops is not illegal under international law, but killing civilians with the weapons could amount to a war crime. Joining me now is News Nation senior national security contributor, retired General Richard Newton. General, thanks for being here. Good afternoon, Brooke. Good to be with you. To start off with, uh, explain these cluster bombs to our audience. How do they work? You bet. Uh, this is part of the $800 million package. It's going to be announced here very shortly by the Biden administration. And inside of that uh, package will include uh, uh, these cluster munitions that can be delivered from from air, from aircraft, also from from naval forces, uh, you know, through naval guns, but also through land, principally in artillery. And as I understand it, these uh, cluster munitions that are going to be provided to Ukraine will be, will be from uh, will be for 155 millimeter howitzer uh, artillery pieces. Uh, and so that's that is what I think will be uh, playing forward here for Ukraine. By the way, Ukraine and Russia. Uh, now they now employ cluster munitions, these cluster bombs already in the battlefield. And so it will, uh, to me, this is significant for, for Ukraine because it, it will help with the supply of cluster munitions that uh, the Russians have a very large numerical superiority in terms of artillery uh, cluster munitions. So I think uh, we'll see these, these weapons uh, being added to the battlefield, and I think in an effective way. Uh, some of our nation's allies, though, aren't thrilled that the U.S. even has these bombs. What's the criticism there? Well, first, these bombs are they're they're employed uh, from, as I mentioned, a weapon, and then uh, they'll uh, they at a certain altitude they will uh, deploy uh, a number of bomblets and be effective against uh, either troops in contact or, or armored vehicles and in, in, at a fused distance and provide uh, very effective capabilities against them. Uh, some of the challenges, though, and in the past, mainly many years or so ago, a lot of these these bomblets that I just described turn out to be duds, and then they end up in the battlefield, and then after the battlefields are over, they end up you know somehow uh, crossing over in, in where civilian populace is and so it could it could really uh you know be a, a, you know a death knell for for some civilians and so forth but the ones that i understand that we're providing to ukraine have a very very low percentage of what i call those duds um and so i uh, i believe that it's going to be uh you know less of a threat to civilians nonetheless ukraine has argued that it's running out of artillery rounds to fight russia in this war can Ukraine win without these cluster bombs? You know, there's a number of weapon systems I think Ukraine cannot win or be as effective in the counteroffensive. One is these cluster munitions, certainly, as you point out in your question, Brooke, but also the Army Tactical Missile System and the F-16s that uh, I think are also needed for Ukraine really to be effective in their, their counteroffensive, uh, especially uh, creating a numerical superiority, but a numerical capability of, of really high quality weapons against the Russians who are really deeply entrenched there, especially in the eastern part of uh, Ukraine and the Donbass region and so forth and down in Crimea. So I think these weapon systems, uh, if, if you think in terms of now cluster munitions, you look at uh, hopefully we can provide them Army tactical missile systems and these F-16s to provide air superiority as well as close air support to Ukrainian forces once they engage the Russian forces, I think will be very effective. The bottom line here, Brooke, in, in my view is, is that Rather than having this war of attrition linger on for months, if not years, we provide Ukraine the offensive capabilities that, frankly, will hopefully end the war sooner. Uh, therefore, in my view, could actually save lives both on the Ukraine side and the Russian side. All right. General Richard Newton, thanks for your insight here. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.